Hmm, let me think. Oh, yes. Yes. This is a good story. It all began when I woke up on my bedroom floor. Floor, you may ask? Well, in my dizzy, half-conscious state, I noticed that all my furniture had been stolen. They hadn't even the decency to leave the door. When I turned around, I was astonished to find a staircase ascending from my floorboards. Naturally, I began to walk up those stairs, being it my only way out. They seemed to go on forever. I, I must have walked miles before I noticed the stairs began to carry me up on their very own. Up and up I went, nothing around me but complete darkness. When suddenly, I had reached my inevitable fate. I greeted death that day. He took my hand and in doing so told me a joke about a praying mantis. I don't recall what the joke was, and it was not very funny, but I laughed anyways. After a short introduction, he placed me on a lump. Now I sat on that lump, and I did not move for centuries. On precisely the 696th year on the lump, I thought to myself, Oh dear, I do believe that I am sinking. Or did I say that out loud? I can't remember. I often find myself confused when I try to remember things. Whenever I try to remember happy memories, somehow I always think of my cat. She was an abusive cat. She would beat me endlessly, and all I could do was scream and crawl away. I crawled through the dirt, the mud, the rain. I crawled until I happened upon a shopkeeper, who sold me a concoction telling me it would help me focus on the more important things in life. So, I drank it. I was turned into a small beast. Now, as this incarnation, I continued to walk. The further I walked, the hungrier I grew. I tasted the fruit beneath me, but it tasted like cardboard. Indeed, it, it was cardboard all along. Just then, I was approached by a beast, much larger and ferocious than I. My, the natural world can be so cruel. When I thought all was hopeless, I felt a sudden rush of energy thrust me forward and bite my opponent. It was remarkable, and to think that all my life I was never aware that I possessed such great- <sighs> The air was cold. My body felt colder. I felt nothing but the loneliness of Earth as its gravel pierced through my skin. I was broken, and life was spilling out of me at an unforgiving speed. I tried to swim away, but I could not escape. Everything was filling up, and there was no way out. I needed to stay afloat, but my arms felt heavy, 
and I gasped for air. I could take it no longer, and sank. are you talking about? Why, I'm telling you my life story, you know? Someday when you're as old as Grandpa, you'll have stories just like mine to tell your grandchildren. Yeah, but your stories are so lame. Whoa there! I think it's time for my little sugar plum to go to bed. No! Fuck you, I don't want to go to bed! Yes, no! yes it's that no! time! Come on! No!